to Hans Zimmer, who scored uh, one of the most potent films I've seen in a while. It was really moving, and I found the music to actually be a uh, really big catalyst in a lot of the things that I thought really stuck together as as an emotional uh, piece of work. What was the process like for you? T just take us to that first conversation with Christopher Nolan. Well, I think Chris and I have been sort of working on this for the last 15 years, this idea that the sound and the images should just be fused into one and you can't tell the difference. You know, it's like this This is a movie that you sort of hear with your eyes in a funny way. And it, it really was Chris. It's really, I mean, I can honestly say my co-composer on everything was Chris because he went out there and he went and made a bold experimental movie. and. Nobody can say anymore that bold experimental movies can't be a commercial success. So the thing I'm the proudest of is that people actually went to see it and that we actually seem to get under your skin. <laughs> Did you get a surprise by the reaction that people had over it? Um, look, I'm a German, therefore I'm a born pessimist. I always, uh, you know, look, I, I, I'm just happy when three people show up. I think, whoa, you know, yes, I am surprised. I mean, honestly, it, it's, it's, I, I know we did our best work. We, uh, we, the work on it was insanely difficult. And, I mean, uh, which you can't see, which is great, which is how it's supposed to be. You know, you're not supposed to say, see that you know there was a lot of uh, sweating and bleeding going on while we we're doing this thing. Um, it's supposed to look effortless, you know. But um, really, honestly, I think this is the th hardest thing Chris and I have ever done together. Was it the subject matter itself that made it hard, or was it what you were trying to accomplish as a filmmaker? All of the above. I mean, the subject matter because it 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 is it comes from the truth, and music has a way of making things palatable and nice. And I wanted to keep it. I I, I wanted the music to still maintain an authenticity that this comes from a very dark part of a uh, dark place in humanity's history so let's not make it nice let's not make it heroic let's not be sentimental let's be objective and that was very much chris's brief as well and there was a lot of it did the collaboration change you at all in the process because I, I hear artists talk about how a project can actually be something that can shift things it seems like this was a pretty big process to undergo and different for you yeah, I think it did I think it did I think it got me to a stage where um, for, for the first time consistently I wouldn't have an answer to something and I had to dig deeper and find things that I I had to find answers that I didn't even have questions to sometimes so um, yeah I mean yeah pushed me to the brink you know so but I mean that, that's I suppose that's the best place to be in retrospect <laughs> in the moment a little challenging but that's one of the themes I hear from from a lot of people that I've been interviewing tonight is that actually making a point of pushing oneself out of the comfort zone is actually imperative to keeping the process vital for yourself and also making something exciting for the audience it's it's you owe it to the audience here's the thing I mean at the end of the day I know why I do this I know that life out there is hard and if somebody plonks their hard-earned money down at the weekend to come and see something that we've done, we better give them an experience and we better live up to this experience and not take it, you know, casually and not be casual about it. You know, I write for the people who come to see what we do and there comes a responsibility with it. Well, you're doing it and obviously getting acknowledged for it tonight. So, so congratulations on a really meaningful piece of work. Thank you, Hans. Hans Zimmer right there. Doesn't get much better than that. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.